Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you another monthly update for the hashtag Let's Get Naked Project Pan. This is the Pantastic Ladies Pan That Palette Challenge for the year, and we were to choose any naked or nude color family palette, um, either one of the naked palettes or a naked dupe. I actually have two palettes that I'm working on this year. The first one, I am finishing up my Stila in the Light. That was my Pan That palette last year. And then I'm also working on this buff collection by Pure Cosmetics. This is a pretty good dupe for the Naked 3 palette. So, since the Stila palette has fewer shades, let me go ahead and show you my progress. So first here, I will input where I was last month. And this is my progress for this month. I am so thrilled to report that I finally got that top part and the side right here cleared out of the ebony shade. I still have not hit pan on sandstone right here. I keep thinking that it's gonna be any day now, but I really haven't hit that so far. Um, and at this point, I'm kind of resigned to the idea that I may not finish this um, palette this year. If I don't, I'm kind of okay with that. I may go ahead and declutter it if I haven't finished it off um, because this, I've been using this palette for years and years and years. So um, that is where I am for the Stila in the Light palette. And next, I'm super excited to show you the project, the progress in my Buff Collection palette. So this is where I was last month. And here is where I am today. So you can see lots of changes here. I, first off, I do wanna point out, I had, um, I had planned to finish Sandstone, which is this shade right here. I have been saying for, I think, two or three months that I was gonna finish that one off. I still have not finished this stubborn shade. However, I did tell you I was going to start working on Mesa. And I did that, and I actually have been able to hit a pretty sizable chunk of pan in Mesa. And then I also was working on desert here. I don't even think you'll be able to tell the difference in desert, although I have been using that quite a bit as well. The one I did not tell you I was going to be working on because I basically just decided on a whim that I was gonna work on dust, which is this shade right here. And not only did I start working on it, but I've actually cleared out quite a bit of the pan. So that was brand new last month. I hadn't touched it yet. And that was how much progress I was able to make on dust. So this is super frustrating to me where I've been working on um, this one for months and months and still haven't been able to clear it, but yet this one, which is a much darker tone, I was able to clear almost a third of the pan in just a month's worth of, of using it. So I don't, I don't understand the textures of these shades, but I'm gonna keep at it. Um, and then finally, I was also working on Mirage. I did not have a goal set for Mirage. I just wanted to keep on working on it. I feel like I've made some good progress on Mirage this month. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish it this month, um, but I feel like by the end of the year, this one will definitely be gone. So now the only uh, the only pan that I have remaining untouched is this one right here, which is called Baron. And I don't know, um, I don't, I'm going to have to start doubling up on and blending some shades, I think, because um, otherwise I'm just not going to get to that one. So maybe I will use Mirage and Baron together for the outer corner, or I don't know, I'm going to have to think of um, some creative way to use that. But... That is my progress so far for both of my palettes. Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave a link to the Pantastic Ladies down below. They actually have just announced their 2019 theme for Pan That Palette. And of course, if you don't wanna follow along with the theme, you can always just 
pan any palette of your choosing, but it's so much fun if you will uh, follow along with us and let us know what you're panning. So I'm gonna leave that link down below for you to go ahead and join in or at least comment and let us know what you're working on. Um, and go ahead and leave me a comment on this video as well and let me know what you're working on or what you've got coming up. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.